Okay, uh, so thanks for all staying till the end to uh, listen to our presentation. Um, I'm Jacqueline, and this is Perry, um, and we are the two founders of uh, Amulite. Uh, and we're making a help pendant uh, for seniors right now. That's right, so a help pendant for seniors that works anywhere. And we're going to start with a little bit of what drives us, where the passion comes from for this project. So there is my grandmother, that's second from the right. Um, she lives in downtown Toronto, where both of us come from. She, uh, she gets around, she takes the subway, she's still very mobile, but she had a couple tumbles in the past couple years and our family decided we needed to get her um, some sort of system that could keep her protected from this type of thing. So we looked around the market and basically only, the only devices on the market were ones that protected her in her home. I'm sure everybody here might be familiar with those commercials that go something like, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> so she had an in-home system and unfortunately about four months ago, she attended a party at a neighbor's house, didn't wear the pendant because they don't work there, came home that night in her own apartment, had a fall, pretty tragic, broke her hip, and was waiting two and a half hours before my aunt, by almost a miracle, showed up because she wanted to check on her. Now to us, with these connected devices, smartphones, we think this is crazy. We have these things that are connected to the network at all times, we can get help when we need it, she should have a device that can let her get help whenever she needs it. So that's my motivation for this. Uh, and with myself, my uh, grandfather passed away about three years ago, um, and my grandmother still lives in the same home that they have been living in for the past 20 years. Uh, my parents actually moved about 10 minutes away from them so that they could be closer, um, but it's taken a toll on my mom having to move and relocate, and even then they're still worrying about her all the time, because uh, you just can't be with somebody 24-7. Um, if they try getting her cell phone, she doesn't use it, she powers it off when she's not actually using it, um, which is really funny and habit when we think about how we use cell phones nowadays. Uh, and so Perry and I are actually both mechatronics engineers, um, and we know that you know, a system like this is very, I don't want to say easy to develop, but it's very possible with today's technology. Um, it just seems that there hasn't been a lot of innovation in this space in terms of you know, wearable devices or connected devices. Uh, targeted at an elder demographic. Um, so we kind of took that to heart, ended up doing a lot of research, talking with a lot of people in the space, um, and have been working on developing one that basically solves the pain points for both of our families and hopefully um, a lot of other people that are out there right now. Uh, so. so our system consists of the Amulite Pendant, which is the device worn by the senior or works anywhere, and the portal for caregivers and loved ones where they can just log in, stay connected, know what's going on. So I guess a quick overview of it is essentially um, somebody can be wearing the pendant at all times. They have a list of family members and caregivers uh, that they can then add to the system. If they ever need help, they press the button and we automatically send an alert via text and email to that list of caregivers and in it is a link to their location as well. Uh, the device is not only connected to a cell network at all times, but it also uses GPS and Wi-Fi so we can detect location both outdoors and inside of a building. Um, and right now the next version that we're working on will actually have a speaker and a microphone, so there'll be two-way voice on the pendant, so you can actually talk to somebody when you're in a situation where you need help. Um, and then to kind of bring it full circle, we wanted caregivers and family members to be able to stay connected at all times. So we developed an online portal where the device is constantly connected to that portal with the information there. Um, and those caregivers can always log in there, check not just things like the battery life, but see how active someone's being, see um, how much time they're spend, spending leaving their house, uh, and then track this over time to see if trends tend to change. Um, now we are very cognizant of the fact that some of this information can be sensitive for some users, so we're working on a way to basically customize it so that you don't have to display all that information if you don't want to release that to your son or your daughter. Um, but in the event of emergency, then we'll show the location, for example, but perhaps not by default. So the, things, the three driving forces behind this are really, we wanted to create a device that worked anywhere, that looked great, and that was always connected. And that means the device always being connected to the network so you can get help anywhere, but also connecting the families to their loved ones. Uh, so this is the team. It's Perry and myself who founded it. We started kind of looking into it, doing the research at the beginning of the year, and we've been building the first version of the actual hardware and the device uh, for the past two and a half months. 
So the first version is done, which we're really excited about, and we're working with a retirement community back where we're from, actually, for a pilot program, um, and now actively starting to work on the next version of it. Uh, and then we also have a full-time industrial designer who's helping us because we really want to create a device that actually looks good for people since they are wearing it. It is an accessory for them. It is you know, part of their outfit. So we really want to put a strong emphasis on that as well. Um, and then, sorry, the final team member is uh, Julian, who's helping us also on the uh, server side and firmware. Uh, so basically another CS student who's helping with all the programming.